Hey guys, this is Hydra from Xtrades, back with another weekly video. And in this week, we're going to take a look at the best opportunities for um, February for 2024. Um, so as usual, we'll start off with the indices, take a look at SPY and QQQ um, and IWM as well. So SPY, really strong um, weekly chart here, right? This was the cup, this was the handle, and then another little handle here, and then very strong breakout. Four green weeks in a row now. Um, starting to get a little bit extended, but we can continue. We can definitely continue going higher here. So I think a very good chance we'll see that 500 mark hit and then potentially pull back. But overall, really, really strong action in S&P. Um, next up, we'll take a look at QQQ. QQQ, same deal. Um, really, really strong um, weekly chart. Very strong breakout. Here is consolidating right below, like or right at the all-time high mark, and then it made a very strong push up. And then this week, um, yeah, this week we did end up pulling back in pretty hard on Wednesday, but we did recover very nicely at the end of the week. So overall, very bullish action. And <clears throat> when we got supported on Thursday and Friday, that's a very clear sign. Very clear sign that bulls are in control of the market. So definitely don't be trying to fight the market right now. This is the best time to be long. Don't try to short this market. Um, and until the trend changes, continue playing the long side. And I would say until that this trend line breaks, continue playing the long side. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the indices. We'll also take a look at uh, Russell 2000. So this is IWM. I do, IWM is still very, very choppy. Um, and until we clear that 199 level, um, <clears throat> we're going to continue to be in this range, right? So once we clear that 199 level, there's a very good chance that the breadth of the overall market will improve. And there's a very good chance that small cap stocks will also have a very nice rally. So um, once this breaks, then I think we'll have a lot more opportunities than just the big cap tech stocks. And um, yeah, now a lot of the growth stocks like AR ARKK, these type of names can start breaking out. And speaking of ARKK, this one's still stuck in its range and in its base here. Um, and until that changes, then growth stocks are still not the best <clears throat> best ones to trade for the long side. But it, it, we are starting to tighten up here. Um, possibly a couple more days of tightening up and then we can see a breakout. Um, then that would be ideal. But yeah, for now, ARKK is not the best option to trade. The, the best opportunities are still in the big cap tech stocks like QQQ or like Apple, Microsoft, uh, Nvidia, Meta, Tesla. Tesla is actually really weak right now, but we'll get into that later. But uh, yeah, the opportunities, the opportunities right now are in the big liquid uh, tech names. So yeah, let's take a look, let's take a look at the some of those names. Start off with Apple. Apple had a really weak earnings report, but it got supported. Uh, really nicely here on Friday. So yeah, if we can take out the 187 level, then this looks really good for a breakout. Um, so yeah, that's the key level to watch there for Apple. Um, next up, let's take a look at AMD. AMD had a very very nice rally, and then it got pulled back in on earning or er, yeah from earnings on Wednesday, and then Thursday it formed a nice consolidation bar, and then on Friday it broke out. So this one still looks really really good. And on the weekly chart, yeah, it looks really good. And yeah, this one still has a lot more potential. I would not be surprised to see AMD double um, in a year from now, right? So lots of potential for these semiconductor names. Um, and AMD is still uh, relatively a smaller cap compared to like NVIDIA or Broadcom. So still a lot of potential for this name. Uh, next up, let's take a look at Google. So Google also had a gap down on earnings but did get supported really nice hammer candle on Friday. <clears throat> so now it's back in this range. So if we take out 144, then I'll be bullish on Google. And if we lose 139, then I'll be bearish on Google. So as simple as that, take this out, then you wanna be looking to play the long side, take this down, and then you wanna be looking on the short side. Until then, we can just chop around for quite some time. Next up, Meta. Meta had an insanely strong earnings report. On Friday and that weekly chart looks really really good um, so yeah I think meta 
is going to consult or since it made such a big move um it reminds me of nvidia back when it had when it had its earnings report so this candle right here so nvidia did end up um going a little bit higher and then it formed this little base for quite some time so i think meta is going to do the same thing i think it's going to continue going higher but then eventually it's going to form a little or a relatively long base and then once it does that then it has a chance to break out again like it <clears throat> Nvidia did so I think Meta is gonna follow the same thing so I think potentially grind up a little bit higher hit that 500 level and then form a base and then um, wait a couple months and then it can break out again Microsoft had uh, a really nice follow-through week this was the strong breakout and then since the breakout it's just been grinding higher and higher so yeah Microsoft not much to say it's just yeah grinding higher and higher um, really bullish action and yeah not much else to say from that Microsoft. Netflix is starting to tighten up really nice here. So Netflix had also had a really good earnings beat um, and they had a couple of nice updates in a row and now it's starting to flag here. So really, really nice flags are up here on Netflix. This is a top watch for next week. Um, Nvidia, Nvidia had a nice flag forming here and then on Friday it broke out. Really strong action, really strong close and um, yeah, overall, I think we can see that 700 level soon, but it is it is starting to get a little bit extended here since it hasn't really pulled back at all, right? So, but this is what the true market leaders look like. Uh, they don't give you a lot of opportunities or dip buys. Uh, when you see a real rally, this is what it looks like. So take notes. Um, next up, we'll take a look at Tesla. So Tesla has been really weak. Um, Tesla had so many catalysts like the Cybertruck release and all these big cap tech earnings or big cap tech stocks have been beating on earnings but Tesla hasn't been getting any momentum off it at all um, but right now Tesla it's very clear if it breaks at 193 then you could play like a long you could try to go long for that gap fill and if it loses that 181 then you can try shorting it for a move all the way down to 154 so that's how I would play Tesla right now it's not actionable but yeah, if it breaks on 193, then I'll be looking to uh, play the long side. But yeah, now let's take a look at some individual names that look good for next week. Um, App looks really good. App looks really good because it's been consolidating for this base in in this space for a really long time, and it's just now starting to break out. Um, so this one can definitely be a top watch. And this one reminds me of Nvidia before it broke out, right? Nvidia formed a really nice base here, tightened up, and then it broke out. And App is starting to do the same thing. Uh, still needs more tightening here, but yeah, App is already breaking up. But ideally, it tightens up a little bit more before it actually breaks out. Um, yeah, Coin is another one that looks really nice for next week. Coin is tightening up really nice here. Um, so yeah, this is providing a really good risk reward opportunity if it breaks out at this uh, bull flag that's been forming. Um, Maro also looks relatively good. Um, it's also forming a bull flag over here, and if it takes it out, then that could be a good setup as well. Um, yeah. Next up, Datadog. Datadog is one of the leaders in the cloud theme. Um, so Datadog had a very strong earnings report, formed a really nice flag opportunity here. This was an A plus setup, and then broke out. And then, yeah, it's been, I had a really nice rally and then a pullback in here and then formed a nice bull flag and then another gap up on Friday and a decent close. I think this one looks like it wants to go higher. Looks pretty good on the weekly chart. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see this go all the way back up to like 147-ish, but um, it does have earnings on the 13th, so do watch out for that. Next up, DraftKings. DraftKings is also acting really well took out that 39 resistance level took out that 40 psychological level and it's just grinding higher and higher here so it looks really good um yeah had a nice flag swept there and then broke out lastly this one is starting to set up again it, it kind of died down back uh, um last year in that pullback after that rally after that uh yeah june july rally it pretty much died and then here it's just chopping around and then um, just recently again it's starting it's starting to act well again so had a nice gap up consolidated and then very nice breakout on friday so 
I want to see some inside days, um, some yeah sideways action, and then if it forms a flag, then I would be looking to buy this one. Get lab. This one looks really good here. Very clear pivot level. If this breaks this pivot, then I'll buy. Play stop around that seventy point seven level. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say for get lab. It's acting really well. Nice weekly chart. Um, really nice accumulation volume signs, right? So everything looks really good for get lab there. Um, also take a look at Shopify. Shopify is consolidating under that 83 level for quite some time now, so uh, it could put, could potentially be ready to break here. Maybe some more consolidation, but overall Shopify does look pretty good here. Um, yeah, SMCI. This one is the true market leader. Very strong rally. Um, yeah, formed a little flag here and then broke out. Not the best flag. Was really extended, but yeah just kept going hit that 600 level on friday and uh yeah now i think it needs to pull back here or just consolidate go sideways and then form a high tight flag and then this one can make another leg up this one's definitely a top watch snowflake this one had a really nice breakout on friday it took a it took out that 210 level which was a very a key resistance level here it rejected multiple times here and then on friday it finally took that out so it was viable on that 210 level and uh, on the weekly it looks really really good breaking out of this huge base so yeah overall lots of opportunities for next week and um yeah that, that's it from my side that's all i got on my list for next week but uh yeah there will be lots of opportunities so make sure to capitalize um on these uh names i think the top top theme is the semiconductors like nvidia amd uh, SMCI and then also the cloud names like Snowflake, Datadog, CrowdStrike, um, ServiceNow. Those are the best opportunities right now. Um, yeah, that's all I got for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, yeah, good luck with your trading next week. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.